The Qur'an, A Complete Revelation, translated and read by Sam Gerrans. Chapter 17 In the Name of God, the Almighty, the Merciful Glory be unto him who conveyed his servant by night from the inviolable place of worship to the ultimate place of worship which he made blessed round about him that we might show him some of our proofs. He is the hearing, the seeing. And we gave Musa the law and made it a guide for the children of Israel. Take not instead of me as guardian progeny of those whom we carried with Nuh. He was a grateful servant. And we decreed for the children of Israel in the law that you will work corruption in the land twice and wax high to a great height. Then when the promise came of the first of the two, we raised up against them servants of ours of severe might who conducted a search into the dwellings and it is a promise fulfilled. Then we returned to you a turn over them, and aided you with wealth and children, and made you greater in influence. If you do good, you do good for your souls, and if you do evil, it is for them. And when the promise of the latter comes, that they should disgrace your countenances and enter the place of worship as they entered it the first time and lay waste to all that they overcome by laying waste. Ellipsis. There will be after that no more chances. To continue. It may be that your Lord will have mercy on you, but if you go back, we go back. And we made hell a dungeon for those who spurn guidance while claiming virtue. This Qur'an guides to what is most upright and gives tidings to the believers who do deeds of righteousness that they have a great reward and that those who believe not in the hereafter we have prepared for them a painful punishment. And man calls for evil by his call for good and man is hasty and we made the night and the day two proofs. We erase the proof of the night, and we make the proof of the sight-giving day, that you might seek favour of your Lord, and that you might know the number of the years and the reckoning. And everything have we set out and detailed with a clear explanation. And every man we have attached his fate to his neck, and we will bring forth for him on the day of resurrection a decree which he will find unrolled. Read thou thy decree, thy soul this day suffices as reckoner against thee. Whoso was rightly guided, he was but rightly guided for his soul, and whoso strayed, he but strayed against it. Nor does there bear any bearer the burden of another, and we do not punish until we have raised up a messenger. And when we intend to destroy a city, we command its opulent ones, but they are wantonly perfidious therein, so the word becomes binding upon it, and we annihilate it utterly. And how many generations have we destroyed since Noch? And God suffices as one aware and beholder of the transgressions of his servants. Whoso desires the transient, we hasten for him therein what we will, for whom we please. Then we appoint for him hell. He will burn therein condemned, banished. And whoso desires the hereafter, and strives for it as he should, and is a believer, these their striving is appreciated. Each do we aid, these and those, from the bestowal of thy Lord, and the bestowal of thy Lord is not restricted. See thou how we have preferred some of them above others, but the hereafter will be greater in degrees and greater in preference. Make thou not with God another God, lest thou sit down condemned 
forsaken. And thy Lord has decreed that you serve not save him, and towards parents good conduct. If one or both of them attain old age with thee, say thou not fie to them, nor repel thou them, but speak thou to them a noble word, and lower thou to them the wing of gentleness out of mercy. And say thou, My Lord, have mercy on them as they did bring me up when I was small. Your Lord knows best what is in your souls. Should you be righteous, he is to those who turn in penitence forgiving. And give thou the relative his due, and the needy, and the wayfarer. But squander thou not in extravagance. The squanderers are brothers of the shaitans, and the shaitan is an ingrate towards his lord. But if thou turn away from them, seeking the mercy from thy lord that thou expectest, then speak thou to them an easy word, and make thou not thy hand chained to thy neck, nor open thou it with full opening, then sit down censured and denuded. Thy Lord expands and straightens provision for whom he wills. He is of his servants aware, seeing. And kill not your children, fearing impoverishment. We will provide for them and for you. The killing of them is a great error. And approach not unlawful sexual intercourse. It is sexual immorality and an evil way. And kill not the soul which God has made unlawful, save a right. And whoso is killed wrongfully, we have given warrant to his ally. But let him not commit excess in killing. He is supported. And approach not the property of the fatherless save with what is better until he reaches maturity, and fulfil the pledge, the pledge is to be accounted for, and fulfil the measure when you measure, and weigh with the straight balance, that is good and a better interpretation, and follow thou not that whereof thou hast no knowledge, the hearing and the sight and the heart, each of these is to be accounted for. And walk thou not in the earth conceitedly. Thou canst not cleave the earth, nor canst thou reach the mountains in height. All that, its evil is hateful in the sight of thy Lord. That is from what thy Lord has instructed thee of wisdom. And make thou not with God another God, lest thou be cast into hell, censured, banished. Has your Lord then distinguished you by sons, and taken from among the angels females? You speak a tremendous word, and we have expounded in this Qur'an that they take heed, but it increases them only in aversion. Say thou, if there were gods with him as they say, then would they have sought a way against the Lord of the throne. Glory be unto him, and exalted is he above what they say by great exaltation. The seven heavens and the earth, and whoso is in them, glorify him. And there is nothing save gives glory with his praise, but you understand not their glorification. He is forbearing, forgiving. And when thou recitest the Qur'an, we place between thee and those who believe not in the hereafter an invisible barrier, and we place upon their hearts coverings lest they should understand it, and in their ears deafness. And when thou rememberest thy Lord alone in the Qur'an, they turn their backs in aversion. We know best for what they listen out when they listen to thee, and when they meet in confidential conversation, when the wrongdoers say, You follow only a man taken by sorcery. See thou how they present examples to thee, so go astray, and cannot find a way. 
and they say, When we are bones and dust, will we be raised up a new creation? Say thou, be you stones or iron, or a thing created of what is great within your breasts? And they will say, Who will bring us back? Say thou, He who made you the first time. Then they will shake their heads at thee and say, When will it be? Say thou, It may be that it is near, the day he will call you, and you will respond with his praise, and you will think that you tarried only a little. And say thou to my servants that they say what is best. The shaitan provokes to evil between them. The shaitan is to man an open enemy. Your Lord knows you best. If he wills, he will have mercy on you, or if he wills, he will punish you. And we have not sent thee as a guardian over them. And thy Lord knows best those who are in the heavens and the earth. And we preferred some prophets above others. And we gave Dawood psalms, say thou. Call to those whom you claim besides him. They have no power over the removal or alteration of affliction from you. These are they who called, seeking the means of approach to their Lord, which of them should be nearest, and hoped for his mercy and feared his punishment. The punishment of thy Lord is to be feared, and there is no city, save we will destroy it before the day of resurrection, or punish it with severe punishment. That is in the law inscribed. And there prevented us from sending proofs, only that the men of old repudiated them. And we gave Thamud the she-camel as a sight-giving proof, and they wronged her. And we send proofs only as warning. And when we said to thee, Thy Lord encompasses mankind, and we made the vision which we showed thee, and the accursed tree in the Qur'an, only a means of denial, for mankind, ellipsis, but they repudiate that also. To continue, and we warn them. It increased them not, save in great ordinacy. And when we said to the angels, Submit to Adam, they submitted, save Iblis. He said, Shall I submit to what thou hast created of clay? He said, Seest thou this whom thou hast honoured above me? If thou grant me respite until the day of resurrection, I will master his progeny, save a few. Said he, Depart thou, and whoso of them follows thee, hell is your reward, an ample reward. And incite thou whom thou canst of them with thy voice, and rally thou horse and foot against them, and partner thou them in their wealth and children, and promise thou them. But the shaitan promises them only deception. My servants, against them thou hast no warrant, and thy Lord suffices as guardian. Your Lord is he who drives for you the ship upon the sea that you might seek of his bounty. He is merciful towards you. But when affliction touches you upon the sea, strayed have those to whom you call, save he. Then when he delivers you to land, you turn away, and man is an ingrate. Do you feel secure that he would not cause a portion of the land to swallow you, or send against you a hurricane? Then would you not find for you a guardian? Or do you feel secure that he would not return you to it a second time, and send against you a storm of wind, and drown you for your denial? Then would you not find for you against us an adherent? We have honoured the children of Adam, and we carried them on land and sea, and provided them with good things, and preferred them greatly in preference above many of those whom we created. 
the day we call all men with their leader, whoso is given his decree in his right hand, these will read their decree, and they will not be wronged a hair upon a date stone. And whoso is blind here will be blind in the hereafter, and further astray in the way. And they would seduce thee away from that we instructed thee, that thou invent about us other than it, and then would they take thee as a friend. And were it not that we had made thee firm, thou wouldst have inclined towards them a little. Then would we make thee taste double in life and double in death. Then hadst thou found no helper against us. And they would draw thee out of the land, to turn thee out therefrom. And then would they not tarry after thee, save a little. The practice of those we have sent before thee of our messengers, ellipsis, has not changed. To continue. And thou wilt not find to our practice any alteration. Uphold thou the duty at the merging of the sun until the dark of night, and the recitation of dawn, the recitation of dawn is witnessed, and some of the night. Stay thou awake therein as an addition for thee. It may be that thy Lord will raise thee to a praised station. And say thou, My Lord, cause thou me to enter at a true entrance, and to leave at a true exit. And appoint thou for me from thyself a helping warrant. And say thou, Truth has come, and vanity has vanished away. Vanity is to vanish away. And we send down of the Qur'an what is a healing and mercy for the believers. But it increases not to the wrongdoers, save in loss. And when we give grace to man, he turns away and remains aloof on his side. And when evil touches him, he is without hope. Say thou, each does as he sees fit, and your Lord knows best him who is guided in the way. And they ask thee about the Spirit. Say thou, The Spirit is by command of my Lord, and you have been given of knowledge only a little. And if we will, we will take away what we instructed thee, then wilt thou not find for thee therein against us a guardian. Only by mercy from thy Lord. His kindness to thee is great. Say thou, if men and jinn should gather to bring the like of this Qur'an, they would not bring the like thereof, though they were helpers one of another. And we have expounded for men in this Qur'an every sort of example. But most men refuse save denial. And they say, We will not believe thee until thou cause a spring to gush forth from the earth for us, or there be for thee a garden of date palms and grapes, and thou cause rivers to gush forth therein abundantly, or thou cause the sky to fall as thou hast claimed upon us in pieces, or thou bring God and the angels as surety, or thou have a house of decoration, or thou ascend into the sky. And we will not believe thy ascension until thou bring down upon us a decree we can read. Say thou, Glory be unto my Lord, am I anything save a mortal messenger? And there prevented men from believing when the guidance came to them, save that they said, Has God raised up a mortal as messenger? Say thou, had there been in the earth angels walking securely, we would have sent down upon them from the sky an angel as messenger. Say thou, God suffices as witness between me and you. He is of his servants aware, seeing. And he whom God guides, he is rightly guided. And he whom he sends astray, for them wilt thou find no allies besides him. 
and we will gather them on the day of resurrection, on their faces, blind and dumb and deaf. Their habitation is hell. Whenever it subsides, we increase for them an inferno. That is their reward, because they denied our proofs, and said, When we are bones and dust, will we be raised up a new creation? Have they not considered that God, who created the heavens and the earth, is able to create the like of them, and has made for them a term whereof there is no doubt? But the wrongdoers refuse save denial. Say thou, if you possessed the treasuries of the mercies of my Lord, then would you hold them back for fear of spending, and man is miserly. And we gave Musa nine clear proofs. So ask thou the children of Israel. When he came to them, and Firaun said to him, I consider thee one taken by sorcery, O Musa, said he, Thou hast understood that there sends these down only the Lord of the heavens and the earth as a means of insight, and I consider thee one doomed, O Firaun and he wished to expel them from the land, so we drowned him and those with him all together. And we said to the children of Israel after it, Dwell in the land. Then when there comes the promise of the hereafter, we will bring you as a mass. And a right have we sent it down, and a right has it come down. And we sent thee only as a bearer of glad tidings and a warner. And as a recitation we divided, that thou recite it to men in stages. And we sent it down as a successive revelation. Say thou, believe in it, or believe not, ellipsis. You neither benefit nor harm God thereby. To continue, those who were given knowledge before it, when it is read to them, they fall down most earnestly in submission, and they say, Glory be unto our Lord, the promise of our Lord is fulfilled. And they fall down most earnestly weeping, and it increases them in humility. Say thou, Call to God, or call to the Almighty, by whichever you call, to him belong the most beautiful names. And be thou not loud in thy duty, nor silent therein, but follow thou away in between, and say thou, Praise belongs to God who has taken no son, and has no partner in dominion, and has no ally from weakness, and magnify thou him with magnification. Chapter 18 In the name of God the Almighty, the Merciful. Praise belongs to God who sent down the law upon his servant and has not placed therein deviation straight that it might warn of severe punishment from his presence and bring glad tidings to the believers who do deeds of righteousness that they have a goodly reward they ever remaining therein and warn those who say God has taken a son no knowledge have they thereof and nor did their fathers Great is the word that comes out of their mouths. They speak only a lie. Then wouldst thou, perchance, destroy thy soul, following hard upon them from grief, if they believe not in this narrative. We made what is on the earth an adornment for it, that we might try them which of them is best in conduct. And we will make what is thereon a barren ground. If thou think that the companions of the cave and the inscription were a wonder among our proofs, when the young men took shelter in the cave and said, Our Lord, give thou us mercy from thyself, and furnish thou us out of our affair with sound judgment, then smote we their ears in the cave a number of years, then raised we them up, that we might know which of the two parties would best calculate what they had tarried in time. We narrate to thee their report aright. They were young men who believed in their Lord, 
and we increased them in guidance. And we strengthened their hearts when they stood up and said, Our Lord is the Lord of the heavens and the earth. We call not besides him to any god, for then would we have said a wanton falsehood. These our people have taken up gods other than him. Oh, that they but brought concerning them a clear warrant. And who is more unjust than he who invents a lie about God? And when you withdraw from them and what they serve save God, seek shelter in the cave. Your Lord will unfurl for you from out of his mercy and furnish you of your affair all that you need. And thou seest the sun when it appears. It inclines away from their cave to the right, and when it departs it passes them on the left. And they in the cavity thereof Ellipsis went undiscovered to continue. That is among the proofs of God. Whom God guides, he is rightly guided, and whom he sends astray, for him thou wilt find no guiding ally. And thou thinkest them awake when they are asleep, and we cause them to turn to the right and the left. And their dog was stretching out its two paws on the threshold. Hadst thou inspected them closely, thou wouldst have turned away from them in flight, and been filled with terror of them. And thus did we raise them up, that they might question one another among themselves. Said a speaker among them, How long have you tarried? They said, We have tarried a day, or, or a part of a day said they, Your Lord knows best how long you have tarried. And send one of you with this money of yours to the town, and let him see what food is purest there, and bring you a provision therefrom, and let him be circumspect, and let not any one be aware of you. They, if they come to know of you, will stone you, or turn you back to their creed, and you will then not be successful ever. And thus did he acquaint us with them, that they might know that the promise of God is true, and that the hour there is no doubt concerning it. When they contended with one another about their affair, then they said, Build over them a structure. Thy Lord knows best concerning them. Those who prevailed over their affair said, We will take for them a place of worship. They will say, three, the fourth of them their dog. And they will say, five, the sixth of them their dog, guessing at the unseen. And they will say, seven, and the eighth of them their dog, say thou, my Lord knows best their number. None knows them save a few. So argue thou not concerning them, save with a patent argument. And ask thou not an opinion concerning them from any of them. And say thou not of anything, I will do that on the morrow, save if God should will. And remember thou thy Lord when thou forgettest, and say thou, it may be that my Lord will guide me nearer than this in sound judgment. And they tarried in their cave three hundred years, and they increased by nine. Say thou, God knows best how long they tarried. To him belongs the unseen of the heavens and the earth. How he sees it, and how he hears. They have no ally besides him, and he ascribes not a partnership in his judgment to anyone. And recite thou what thou art instructed of the law of thy Lord. There is none to change his words and thou wilt find no place of refuge besides him. And make thou thy soul patient, along with those who call to their Lord, morning and evening, seeking his countenance. And let not thine eyes wrong them, desiring the adornment of the life of this world. And obey thou not him whose heart we have made heedless of our remembrance, and follows his vain desire, and whose affair is excess. And say thou, The truth is from your Lord. Then whoso will, let him believe. And whoso will, 
let him deny. We have prepared for the wrongdoers a fire, its walls encompassing them. And if they seek succour, they will be given succour by water like molten brass burning the faces, evil the drink and evil the pillow. Those who heed warning and do deeds of righteousness, we suffer not to be lost the reward of a deed of one who does good. They have gardens of perpetual abode beneath which rivers flow. They are adorned therein with bracelets of gold and wear green garments of finest silk and brocade, reclining therein upon raised couches. Excellent the reward and fair the pillow. And present thou to them an example. Two men, we made for one of them two gardens of grapes and surrounded both with date palms and placed between them a crop. Both gardens produced their fruit and were wronged nothing thereof, and we caused to flow in the midst of them a river. And one had fruit, and said to his companion when he talked with him, I am greater than thee in wealth, and am mightier in men. And he entered his garden while he was wronging his soul, saying, I think not that this will ever perish, and I think not that the hour will take place, and if I am brought back to my Lord, I will find better than this as a place of return. His companion said while conversing with him, Deniest thou him who created thee from dust, then from a drop of fluid, then fashioned thee a man? But as for me, he is God my Lord, and I ascribe not a partnership with my Lord to any one. And O oh, that when thou wast entering thy garden, thou hadst but said, That which God has willed, there is no strength save in God. If thou see me less than thee in wealth and children, it may be that my Lord will give me better than thy garden, and will send upon thine a calamity from the sky, so that it becomes miry ground, or its water becomes sunken, so that thou canst not find it. And encompassed were his fruits, and he began to wring his hands for all that he had spent therein, but it was desolate. And he said, Would that I had not ascribed a partnership with my Lord to any one. And he had no band to help him besides God, and he could not help himself. Thereupon protection belongs to God, the truth. He is best in reward and best in final outcome. And present thou to them the example of the life of this world, as water which we send down from the sky, then mingle with the vegetation of the earth. It becomes dry stalks which the winds scatter. And God is omnipotent over everything. Wealth and children are an adornment of the life of this world, but the righteous deeds which endure are better in the sight of thy Lord as reward and better as hope. And the day we set in motion the mountains, and thou seest the earth emerge, and we gather them, then will we not leave out one of them, and they will be set before thy Lord in ranks. You have come to us as we created you the first time. Yet you claimed that we made no appointment for you. And the law will be set down, and thou wilt see the evildoers apprehensive of what is therein, and they will say, Woe is us! What law is this that leaves out neither a small thing nor a great thing save has taken it into account? and they will find what they did present. And thy Lord wrongs no one. And when we said to the angels, Submit to Adam, then they submitted, save Iblis. He was of the jinn, and was wantonly perfidious against the command of his Lord. Take you him and his progeny as allies instead of me, and they are an enemy to you evil an exchange for the wrongdoers.
I made them not witness to the creation of the heavens and the earth, nor to the creation of themselves, and I take not those who lead astray as support. And the day he says, Call my partners whom you claimed, then will they call them, but they will not respond to them, and we will make between them a place of ruin. And the evildoers will behold the fire, and realise that they are to fall therein, and have not found an escape therefrom. And we have expounded for men in this Qur'an every sort of example. But man is, more than anything, contentious. And there prevented men from believing when the guidance came to them, and from asking forgiveness of their Lord, only that the practice of the former peoples should come to them, or the punishment should come to them face to face. And we send the emissaries, only as bearers of glad tidings and warners. And those who are indifferent to warning contend in vanity to refute the truth thereby, and make mockery of my proofs and of what they are warned. And who is more unjust than he who is reminded of the proofs of his Lord and turns away therefrom, and forgets what his hands have sent before him? We place upon their hearts coverings lest they should understand it and in their ears deafness, and if thou invite them to the guidance, ellipsis, they will turn away therefrom to continue, so they will then not be rightly guided ever. But thy Lord is the forgiver, the possessor of mercy. Were he to take them to task for what they have earned, he would hasten for them the punishment. The truth is, they have an appointment, they will not find besides it any refuge. And those cities we destroyed when they did wrong, ellipsis, were taken to task for what they earned to continue, and we made an appointment for their destruction. And when Musa said to his young man, I will not cease until I reach the confluence of the two seas, though I continue for ages. Then when they reached their confluence they forgot their fish, and it took its way into the sea, tunnelling. And when they had passed on, he said to his young man, Bring thou us our meal, we have met with fatigue on this our journey. Said he, Didst thou see when we took shelter at the rock? Then I forgot the fish, and there caused me to forget it, only the shaitan, lest I should remember it and it took its way into the sea, amazingly. He said, That is what we seek. And they turned back, following hard upon themselves, retracing. And they found a servant from among our servants, to whom we had given mercy from us, and taught knowledge from our presence. Musa said to him, May I follow thee, that thou teach me something of what thou hast been taught of sound judgment? Said he, Thou canst not be patient with me. And how canst thou be patient over what thou hast not encompassed in experience? He said, Thou wilt find me, if God should will, patient, and I will not disobey thee in a matter. Said he, If thou wouldst follow me, ask thou me not about anything until I relate remembrance of it to thee. So they set out, when they had embarked on a boat, he made a hole therein. He said, Hast thou made a hole therein to drown its people? Thou hast done a grave thing. Said he, Said I not that thou canst not be patient with me? He said, Take thou me not to task for what I forgot, nor burden thou me in my affair with difficulty. So they set out. When they had met a lad, he killed him. He said, Hast thou killed a pure soul for other than a soul? Thou hast done a detestable thing. 